In my last video, I had just arrived in Newfoundland and reached camp in time for a heartwarming sunset. However, it's so windy! Spaghetti night! By morning, I was off again to find somewhere a little bit more sheltered. I traveled over wooden bridges and paved highways making a brief stop in Cornerbrook. After about three hours, I reached a park entrance. This was Grossmore National Park, where I went looking for a campsite. So this is my campsite, Berry Hill Campground in Grossmorn Park. It's very close to Rocky Harbor, convenient location. The site itself is very, very basic, small, um, not a lot of choice. Actually, there's a lot of places, there's a lot of campsites available, um, but they're all kind of the same. So, but I'm okay. Um, it's about $27.50 a night unserviced you just get a fire pit and a picnic table um, there are service available uh, if you want that pay more of course and you have to pay to get into the park there is a daily fee for Grossmorn Park unless you have the national pass so just so you know I don't think I'm gonna stay here long this is just uh, you know like an overnight maybe two uh, I'm gonna move on because I'm gonna go back to the park later on that's my plan anyway uh, looks like it's getting a little cloudy. Hopefully it's going to still be sunny for another day or so. But anyway, I'm starving. Lunch time. But my lunch break was interrupted by a very noisy neighbor. Hey, stop being noisy. I hear ya. I'm just having lunch. No mooching. You don't need human food. Yeah, they try. Even a Canada J was on Moochin patrol. In looking around, I did see an unusual sign. Apparently, over there, women shower in dresses. I had to investigate. What I found is one of the perks of this park an upscale comfort station with hot showers, flush toilets, and laundry. It even had a large sink for washing dishes and two wood stoves. Not too shoddy at all. However, I still don't know if women showered with their skirts on. Oh well. Well, on my way up the island, I stopped in Cornerbrook just briefly because I needed gas and I went to the Walmart. And just as I was leaving, somebody recognized me and said hello. Their names were Robert and Nancy, and they were locals. And I said, well, is there anywhere in particular that I should visit while I'm in this area? And they recommended one place that definitely is on my list. It was called The Sinkhole. And it's a little hard to get to, but you know what? I got to try it. So this morning, I unhitched the, uh, the trailer and I'm on my way now. Hopefully I can find it, but who knows? Not the best road as I expected. It's a service road. 
very bumpy. scary bumpy Eventually, I did at least find a sign that showed that I was going in the right direction. And then, another one. It was all looking promising until I found myself in a real squeeze. I can't get through. <laughs> well, the road ends here because I can't fit through the trees. Got to back up. Well, it's highly recommended that you walk in if you don't want to totally destroy your vehicle. I think it's mostly for ATVs, not for Jeeps even, but I made it. Here it is. This is so cool. Okay. I'm supposed to use this rope. See there's a a rope here you can use. But I'm kind of a mountain guy. Should be okay. Whoa! Or not. Sea slim plunge off a cliff. That wouldn't be good. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. There it is. There is a way down. It's a little steep, but I think I can do it.
You know why they call this scree? Because that's the noise you make when you go flying down the hill. Scree! I made it. Oh, this is just so incredible. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Woo! Echo! Woo I love it. One of Newfoundland's little secrets. And I'm going to keep it that way. Do your own research. I'm not going to give you the exact location. But if you do go absolutely proper hiking boots, use the rope. And if you're a little nervous, don't go down here. Ah, but it's lovely. That's a good workout. Oh, and remember, that's a sinkhole, not a stinkhole. If you have to make a toilet break, make it up there, not down there. Whew. So for fun, excitement, and beauty, the sinkhole gets two thumbs up. So thanks, Robert and Nancy. I love tips. Well, it's morning. I got a good sleep, but I'm heading out today. But before I go, there's this cute little trailer right beside me I want to talk about because it is awesome. And I met the guy, his name is Carl, and he invited me over. So let's go talk to Carl. Well, hello, Carl. Howdy, Slim. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Beautiful. Is that? It's better than that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It not is. Not a cloud, the sky, sun is shining. Yeah, it was nice and cool. I wasn't sweating last night. Not too much humidity. A huge yep. dew, though. Yep. Sitting I, on a uh, wet chair. I, I left my, my hiking boots outside last night, and they're soaking wet. That's why I'm wearing my Crocs. <laughs> Let them dry. So <laughs> Anyway, I spotted this absolutely fantastic trailer and I wanted to hear a little bit about it. What can you tell me? Well, it's a 2018 Little Snoozy. That's not a little, it's a L-I-L Snoozy. Little Snoozy? Little. Little yeah, Snoozy. Yeah, like Little Eyes of Jane. Okay. It's a little Snoozy. Um, and it's one of the last ones that were made. The company had some financial issues and we were kind of lucky to get this one. Um, okay, so, so you, they're not available anymore? Well, you can, uh, another company's take them over. They're, oh, the trailers, good, good, the good. trailer's made by a company that makes boat trailers. Uh, okay, And yeah. they're, they're um, 
uh, welded steel, hot dip galvanized, and the company's Westco. And now the, the company that was making the frames is also making the bodies. And okay. they're calling them a snoozy two. Snoozy two. Yeah. Well, give me a general feeling. Okay, now this is a fiberglass trailer, correct? It is fiberglass. It's a molded fiberglass made in two pieces. You got the bottom, and you can see the belly yeah. band. Yeah, on yeah. Here. Um, it's a, a double wall construction. Wow. So, so there's a layer on the outside. Yeah. And there's, there's a foam layer in, in the middle. Uh, and then a layer of fiberglass on the inside. It's a, it's a freestanding, uh, very rigid structure. Okay, so just like I've got a little outback, which is fiberglass, yeah. but it is not double, what did you say, double walled? It's like double walled. Yeah, I, I it's call it single walled and with a little thin bit of insulation. This, however, has double walls with like foam in it, between? It's, it's, yeah, it's some kind of foam material. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But it's um, some kind of foam, and it, it provides some insulation. Okay. I'm not really sure the 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 R factor of it, but. But um, a lot better than just it's some cold fiberglass because <laughs> it's, it's something. I, yeah, <laughs> fiberglass is not in itself a good insulator. You know, like aluminum is not. It's it's it, the cold comes right in just like anything else. However, if you have that extra insulation, that's that's definitely going to help. But there's got to be other advantages to that as well. Like, for example, um, being a shell, um, you know, it's it's not in pieces. There's only two main pieces to this That's trailer, correct? correct? That's correct. And, and a top and a bottom. Yeah, so it's yeah. got to be really good for sound. It's pretty good for sound. It's also very good for leaks. Yeah. There are no holes in the there's top. There's no holes, this. exactly. Yeah. Windows in the side. Yeah. Uh, and you just got to make sure they're, they're caulked up. But it doesn't have the seams like you have on a, yeah. uh, you know, a factory st st stick built. Sticky, yeah. sticky, yeah. they call them. So um, what, what made you pick this particular trailer? Well, we were uh, down in, uh, I think it was Louisiana. And uh, we saw, peop saw some people down there that had a casita. Yeah, and I yep. never saw a fiberglass. Oh, I love trailer. casitas. Yeah. Never saw one before, so we got talking to them, and, and we had a, a high low at the time, it was a 17 foot high low. Yeah, and so they brought us inside, showed it to us. I said, "Well, this is pretty nice." So I started looking around at um, fiberglass trailers, and I came across this one. And the guy that started, Alan Smoak, I think, was the guy that designed this. Yeah, and started building them. It's a galvanized frame you know welded galvanized frame fiberglass my kids will inherit this <laughs> you know i'm an engineer by trade and, yeah and, yeah so and, you can appreciate a good design oh, of a trailer absolutely and so and i was looking at the space in there the doors in the back yeah um and the you know so it, it makes very good utilization of the space we bought uh, an empty shell okay there was there was nothing in here except for the back door there were no windows there was nothing okay so hold hold on a sec you bought an empty himself. shell yes is that how you typically are these all custom they do everything you can buy a complete trailer ready to go okay they don't put any um uh, propane in them though okay but they can they do have a company that would come in and do some propane work if you want they're very customized okay we looked went down and, and looked at them we drove down to the factory yeah you know from new york and uh, looked at them and it, my wife and i said well I don't like this, I don't like that, and there's so many things that are going to change, and I said, well, they sell empty shells, why don't we just buy an empty shell? Oh, okay, so somebody that doesn't have the building experience or don't want, they just want a trailer, they can just buy one of these. Well, they could. I'm not sure yeah. that, that uh, Snoozy 2 is doing that. I, you, yeah. You'd have to really contact them oh, yeah, to yeah. find no. out. Uh, but you, this is, it was your choice to just buy the shell because you, you had the engineering capabilities yeah, yeah. And, and you're a handyman. You yeah. could do it yourself. Yeah. Awesome. If you if you like scribing boards to make them fit, yeah, that's a project for you. Because <laughs> it's, the the walls are shaped like this. Yeah. Like like this. Yeah. Like this, yeah. And, and, that, and the top is like this. And that, that's what I learned with with, so with my camper. Anytime I want to modify, nothing straight. Oh, it's yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. No. No, it's uh, just the way it it's is. It's just that you've got to expect it's if if it's in your house. It's not necessarily going to fit the same way as in, right. in a trailer Hopefully like this. Hopefully your house is square and plumb yeah. and, and that stuff. Well, let's, oh. let's get up and have a look yeah, at sure. it. Sure, we can do that. Let me show you what we got inside here. One thing unique about this camper is the door is in the back. That is unique. And it's a full-size door, too. Yeah, it's a 28-inch door. You could put your bicycles in here and or maybe a short canoe or something like that. Wow, kind of lots of room. Yep. 
So coming in, we put, we put a little storage closet in here. A standard snoozy doesn't have this, but uh, that's what something that we one of the changes we wanted. Got a little area underneath here for garbage and stuff like that. A real sink. My wife said it's going to be a sink. It's handy. Yeah, we got a, a, a compressor refrigerator. It's a truck fridge. Uh, nice two burner stove. Works pretty good. We live in bins. Most campers probably live in bins, you know. Most so, bins are handy. Yeah, we keep them down here. Got some little little drawers here, so when you pull the bins out, they have something to set on. Most of our daily food we we keep here. Um, I don't like closets and doors and stuff like that. So we just made this rack. You know where really everything available. is. Yeah, yep, it's readily available. Got a double bed. I uh, put a little storage up here. This is something that uh, Snoozy doesn't do right now. But we put this little storage area up there, which is really great. Um, and under here, keep our clothes. Lots of storage. Yep, yep. And uh, this is uh, a, a, a table. I got a 30-gallon water tank underneath here. I love the design yep. of the table. Did you make that? I made the table. I made everything in here. <laughs> we did everything. And this came from my backyard. I cut the oh, tree down. This is, this is cherry. It's a drop leaf. Goes down like that. Look so at that. If you want to have a party in here, a dance or something, you got room to you got room to cook. And uh, when you want to eat, you put your table up. We keep our our chairs here. And plenty of room to walk around in. Yep. And those days yep. when it's really rainy and you're stuck inside, at least you can walk around a little. We we can absolutely do that. We like to go bird watching, so this is good for us because oh, we can sit perfect. on the same side of the table yep. and look at the pictures. You put your laptop yep. down there. Yeah. And of course, the other essential for me at least is well, <sighs> your shower and your toilet. You right gotta have there. a toilet. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And the shower, you just you know nobody wants to shower outdoors or i don't anyway. <laughs> and having the kitchen indoors is a, another thing some people they have them on the outside and when it gets windy and rainy they're not too happy well thanks carl thank you for this tour i well, love the the trailer you've done a great job thanks a lot well, you're certainly <laughs> I'm welcome i'm taking up your time though so i'm gonna leave you're certainly welcome i but, got some i got some exploring to do all right <laughs> take all right, care thanks. carl yeah. And if you're wondering what Camilla stands for, it's Carl and Mary's Excellent Adventures. Travel on, folks! And to find more about Snoozy 2 Campers, please follow the link to Wesco Trailers in the video description. Well, that's it. We're off to the races. And with that, I left Grossmorn Park to start another set of adventures. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my others as well. Please be sure to follow as I travel up the big rock to wherever the road takes me. Happy travels!